Okay guys, uh, welcome back to our PGA Season 5 to a Pro Career Mode. Uh, we're about to play the Phoenix Open, so let's have a little look and see what the wind conditions are. Oh, 2 to 3 miles per hour, so it's going to be pretty easy to be honest. So we'll set up. Um, I've basically made a couple of changes. I used to um, have the easy setting included. So I used to have basically easy, normal and hard. Uh, I've dropped the easy setting because it was really just too easy. So we're just going to be playing with normal and hard setting, which means that we're going to have first and second round and then the third and fourth and we'll do a draw to see what order we're going to do. So number one in the dice, number two, one will be normal, two will be hard, and then we'll do it um, lowest dice first, and then obviously the highest second. So we've got a five and a three, so three is going to be the hardest, and that's one. So uh, we're going to be in the hard setting for this. So I maybe should have done that before I went into it, but we'll see if it works. I don't know what setting we were on before. I think we were... I think we were the normal setting. So probably are going to have to change it. So we'll do the FG count now, which is the fairways and greens. Uh, well, that's not really that much. We've got a 1, a 4, and a 3. So 8... Eight is the tally, which is relatively easy. We should we should do that, no problem. Oh, we did this down. Not that I'll forget, but just in case. It's getting old. Set in the Sonoran Desert and surrounded by the majestic McDowell Mountains, we're at the Canadian course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Eight. Hello again and welcome, Rich Loader, alongside Here Frank Navalo, set to bring you all the action yeah, so today's event. Yeah, so it's been a tough couple Frank, of days. Uh, I was on holiday Scottsdale there for the, the, the Scottish Air Show, which was. The golf course has been radically changed in It was okay. The, the weather wasn't great, to be honest. Really, um, there was no static like the display, itself, which young, was a big disappointment. And, um, and now we got I need to change this. Uh, and that was that, and then just the last couple of days there, uh, my work is changing its, its shift plan, so it's dropping night shift, which, well, it kind of puts me in a bit of a, a position. Um, potentially we could actually be taking redundancy, which is, which is never a good thing. Um, so there you see all the stuff's off. So let's save that. So yeah, that's that's been on my, my mind. I've actually to say I've I've not been feeling great is as an understatement. So in fact one day yeah, I was planning on making a video but I got up and I just I just couldn't do it. I just didn't have any passion to do it, so Anyway, here we go. That's that's enough of my kind of social side of things. As I say, we'll get through it. We've got 45 days to kind of iron out um, any potential sort of plans, but as I say, I can't get into it too much because it's all work-related, but that's it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on with this. Um, that bunker. Is that your hut? Is that? No, there's no bunkers. Probably actually just going to be just a bit there, I think. Oh my god, that's a bad. That needs a break right here. That should be out of bounds. Look out. Oh. 
So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive now in the rough. It's not out of bounds, but shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Now let's try and get us recovered and back into Seems some like form. Of, for the back part of the green. Oh, that's not bad. I don't, I'll do it. That I'll do nicely. Oh, well, we didn't awesome. make the fairway, so zero. That close. That's good. Settles in over the putt. Should be an easy putt, I think. If I don't, oh God. That's not how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. No, no it was an easy putt. Like to go back to that first tee right now. We had it again. basically it was right at target left. and a uh, hard. So that was a bit of a funny par. Um, not a good drive. Great approach, horrible putt, tapping for no, tapping for a par, but a putt for a par. Now to the second hole, and Frank, what can you tell us about this par four? A new tee has been added, lengthening this hole 30 plus yards. Plus, what used to be just one bunker on the uh, right side of the screen has changed to a little pot bunker, and the addition of two bunkers on the left side. Still a semi blind tee shot. Well, conditions in terms of wind are easy, but we're in the hard sense, so we're probably going to make this difficult. Not quite what he was hoping for the tee shot in the bunker. All right, Frank, second shot. Yeah, it looks like a good lie. Um, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. Still got to check the wind. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. Ooh. A little bit. A bit extra power. That, that might work for yeah, us, out, but Frank, I think it's too long. This, this is going, going, gone. So, Frank, out of the bunker and back in the play. Yeah, the late Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf is always the next one. Well, by getting the ball back in play, he just made that a little easier. Oh, get down. Not close, but not bad either. He's about 25 feet away. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Maybe a bit short. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Even par currently. No. Scrap it. Just a shade over par. Plus one. Frank, what's the strategy here off the tee at the par five third? For the long hitters, they still think that they can reach this par five and two comfortably with a good tee shot. For the shorter hitters, it really is a thought about where you lay up that second shot to try and leave a good third shot yardage in. Still a good tee That's shot. That's going to be first fair right right part. Against someone who's a little too cavalier off the tee. In the fairway down there about 290. Yes, it's been quite difficult the last few days. Now the second um, shot to the par five. I don't actually feel great at this moment in time. Kind of guts are churning quite a bit. Um, just trying to get into this game here. Uh, we've got to. So we need. Right, we're going to have to hit this. Might go kind of long, but. Kind of came across it a little bit. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Oh, scrappy. The hard setting is quite, quite difficult. Again, in the bunker. All right, so green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? 
Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Come on, get course. Get it to run like a putt. And never know. Might just go out. That was not an easy. I don't know. That was. I was actually for an eagle, so. Really good composure. Decent chance here that Bob did. Not going to mess up his plans here. It's not much break, I don't think. She goes. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. I guess it's back to even. In the top ten. We have already begun. Let's pick up with the action. At hole number Seven four. foot up, wind slightly against Frank, when you get out of the um, gates, as our featured golfer has done, with up, maybe a lot of waft, steady play, waft what's the it? mindset? You've got to keep doing that, that Rich. Just maybe get a little closer to the hole, drive a little bit better, um, work on the, on, the, on the pace yeah. of the putting. Just little games, and then all of a sudden you're going to notice a big difference in the score. Oh, it's pin high. Played that one on the swift of target so say in the professional game inside 30 feet yeah 27 feet to be precise but um, to make it from there that's asking for a bit let's break a little but not not a massive amount five inches down which is not a bit nasty Tom, Tom, Tom. Oh, come on. Get in there. That was going high. That was in the green. So that's two, two FG we've got. My favourite in green. I guess it's the one under par. Another hole that bends gently to the left. There used to be two bunkers down the right side. It's now one. And it's in the perfect position to make you think about your tee shot. Really, you have to be left of that. Oh, it's catch up bunker, is it? it? The green still looks the same as what it once was. Tilt slightly from the left. Right, the first cut. You can see why a draw, a draw is the preferred shot at TPC Scottsdale. Frank, just into that first cut. Yeah, yeah it's sitting up. Uh, it's really not good. much. This isn't, this isn't too bad a situation. It's five foot down, so I think that coming from the first cut. I don't really think we need to club down. I think the five foot down is probably going to compensate for the slight loss of power. So we're just going to go. We'll maybe undercut it a little bit. But a target 1% minus. So we're just going to find the green. Not bad, not bad. Frank going for another birdie here. Mm -hmm. Just to get on a real roll. Again, there's not much in the, the greens here. I don't know if it... Slightly uphill. I'm go over there. Come on, baby. Come on! Uh, should I should have given it a bit more. You couldn't ask for much bit more, more than that, except to make it. Locked in on the read and the speed. Oh, and for part. Keeps us at one under. Right there, Frank. He'll be uh, moving to third place, inching his way to the top of the leaderboard. Now to the par four. He does only two under at the moment. Time, Frank. Driver, where do you go with three wood? A lot of that's going to depend on if there's any breeze. If the breeze is at your back, you can drive it all the way down the right side and take those two bunkers down. I went for a bit extra sauce, and I think this hole's been stiffened up, though. Ooh, I'm going to gonna make it. Yeah, I got away with that one, to be honest. That's three. I'm booking top of my cable. Uh, here we go. What we got? Absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this goes. Oh, excuse me. Just slightly up hill. That's only two inches. So it's really full. Really just level. Right now, um, just the flag. Why well, looks pretty decent. Fifty sixty degree wedge. Is it going to spin? Just absolutely superb. Oh, 
happy at that. This will be a birdie if it drops. Well, that'll be a bit, maybe just outside the left. She pops. Could I get? Yeah, that'll be three. Sometimes I always track them at FG count a lot. I don't know if I've maybe have I ticked that in my wee tracker system or have I, have I not? Right, path three here. Pins tucked. Right over that bunker. Yeah, uh, two iron. This is not easy because we're going to get a bit of roll in this club, so to be clubbed down a little bit. Two ten. Let's see, got enough. We got enough. Could be good. Could be good. Ooh. <laughs> Come on! <gasps> Four and one. Wow. That was perfect. Good hole, Frank. The par four eight. Get another dog leg left, Rich, on the front side. Um, now there you go. That's one way to get a, a fairways fairy, and greens side. count. Used to be a bailout area for the players in the past. You can't do that anymore. Wow, that just bounced. Yeah, anybody can fly. Uh, I uh, thought it was going to maybe need to hit the pin just to kind of stop it near the hole, but uh, those two bunkers have forced the players to go out to the right. <laughs> there you go. Shot a little bit longer now. I believe that's a first. PJ Tour hole in one. Frank, this one's not I had a hole in one at Oakmont when I did the US Open special, but that that wasn't the PJ Tour as such. On the yeah, uh, well, the clear mode. The in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Need a good clean strike here from 100. That's not a good drive. Away. Second shot. Eight six and eight percent. So we're probably gonna have to go just a little bit extra. Come on, baby. Go! This one's looking good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Bait! Frank, not close, but not close. Just run on a little bit. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Again, the putts are quite flat. There's not a lot of... <sighs> Doesn't appear... See, I don't like these putts because... If there's a subtle break on it. Yeah, right. It seems to swap away, so I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't really see the hole there. I'm gonna go just left edge, maybe just outside. Maybe even just a little bit more. We go over there. And what are we? Four inches down. Went a bit fast. Yeah, it didn't really now. Well, you hate to miss the short ones. Ouch. I misjudged that a little bit. It didn't really break at all. And we just get the speed wrong. These putts keep the round together. She goes. That's a par. In for par. Rounding out the front nine with a par four of 453 yards from the back tee. Looks to be straight away here, Frank. Anything to be cautious about on this tee shot? Well, that's going to quite an easy tee shot, but that's going to make the fair bit. Takes us to five for the FG count, so we only need another three. So we should do it to be honest. It's not it's not a high FG count, it's not that difficult to get. Judging that second shot, getting the right club is essential here at night. That looks as if maybe we're gonna hit this straight at the flag because I think that's gonna cut over a little bit. Potentially. We have to target. Turn that okay. Shot. It's not going to bite though. That's the only thing. Well, we've got a, maybe a sizable putt for 
pour la porte des bas. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long thought, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult. Uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Well, and she's down, so let's let's go over there. Um, break is breaks quite a bit actually. Could look silly here, but. We didn't hit it. We didn't hit it. May have been a bit too much to ask for there. That distance. Oh, if I'd hit that, probably. If I got the piece of that, that probably had a good chance of getting in. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. So another part. So we'll check our scorecard. It's not something I tend to do too much, but we're just going to check our scorecard at this, uh, the the front nine, the back nine. So. Now the number seven was uh, really pretty good. Uh, a home nice one. Shot down the left. There's no real advantage to try and carry um, it over that bunker. Start off pretty bad. Kind of scrappy the first two so holes. It a got a bogey at second, but we got two birdies. Part five, birdied six. Got an eagle at the par three, home one, and then two pars. So we're four under par. So we're doing pretty good. So let's continue into the back nine. Okay, just left a target, but it should be okay. Like the should really one. do much. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Oh, I thought I'd put that premature. That's let's get six FG at the moment. The sudden death playoff between Phil Mickelson and Justin Leonard. Slightly up has always been the hero out here because he went to Arizona State. It's gonna have yeah, and it's still runs through his veins. Too much. There was such an important win for him because to do it in front of right, people. Put it perfect now. Hopefully, it's got enough legs on it. Go. Oh, that's good. So for Mickelson, 1996 NTPC Scottsdale. We'll do it. Yeah, it's a great a chance at a birdie. Yeah. She pops. Come on. Five under. Say that home one will help. Yeah, the eagle. Really like I'll probably hole. mention that whole one well, maybe a couple more times before the end of the, one, Rich, because this is an the round. Scorecard wrecker. Water all the way down the left side. There's two bunkers. Oh, shut up. Good tell me there's water. The They're around the green. They protect the left front and the back. Should be a fair bit. Right seven, so we're only one away. I'm getting the FG count. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. This is the second shot at the par four. Uh, it's pretty much straight away here. Um, wind's marginal, six iron, so we probably need to club down. Going by a seven. Go. Oh, this is hitting in the wrong direction. Not by much today, but enough to again be in the bunker. Oh, was that up? That must have been uphill that green then. Yeah, in the green side bunker, Frank. Little bit of a problem. Bit of a misjudgment there. There's a bunker shot. It should give us a part. Sound too is wonderful. Good use of the bounce, and uh, it looked like we were trying to hold it. Just an amazing display. The record. Oh, I've got two to shot lead over B, Streb, and Ortiz. may not be as famous so, as the par three sixteenth, but Frank, you think this may be a easy. tougher and even better hole? It's an easy par three, but probably no such thing. Than sixteen will ever see, and courtesy of the water behind and to the right of this green. If you're going to bail out, find one of those bunkers. Oh, I've had right target. Obviously can get it up and down, but it's still no snacks. Probably going to find a green. It's quite a big green, but that's not a, not a fantastic shot. Right, that is. That gives us eight. So we've achieved the FG count for this round. 
to done. give that a little tick. That's done. Yeah, fairly long putt, but not. Not an absolute difficult putt as such. Four inches up, so it would be a bit there. Now, break wise, there's not a huge amount. Oh, I've missed it right at target. Distance was maybe a wee bit shy as right well, but. This one just requires a little bit of focus. There we go. In for part. Keeps his nose being streb. Four under. Five under par. par five thirteen. Chance for birdie or maybe even eagle if you're bold and brave enough, but also Frank. Chance for disaster here. Well, <sighs> oh dear, it's going to be a nasty one. If you finish up in that, there's no way you're going for this part. Why? That's good. It becomes a little bit of a zigzag mission. And the second, well, we may have a shot between those trees to push it up the fairway. Bunker in the front, or it has to be. I think that takes the green out of the equation. Like he's going to have a go at it. What have we got here? We've got. Probably we'll just look to put it in the kind of 190 area. That 152, 182 region, uh, which is going to be here. So we're going to have to manufacture some kind of shot here. Try and keep this low. Probably use the term hack it out, but it's not really maybe the, the proper term. That'll do it. I'll set up a, an approach shot here. Still got a chance at a birdie, so Great, really good chance for the percentages to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Right, well, it looks pretty decent. One, two, three, what are we? Four foot up. Mm. Just add a couple of yards here. Went a wee bit extra. Yeah, I'm just going to go a little bit. I'm going to spend too much. Um, just hit too much, plus 4%, which didn't help us. Pretty chance here. Very long yeah. putt. Inside chance. Downhill, I don't. Downhills can be. Mm. Come on. Didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. Couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. <sighs> Good chance here. Currently at five under par. I'm kind of a bit scared of putting Considering the those that putts on the rest of the field, into that, that kind of what, nine foot zone or something. Um, Par four, 14 from Frank. This hole packs a little just kind of dolly them yeah, up a little of bit. Just, uh, a little bit more yardage. Just Plus dolly it up to the, the hole. Has been pushed out into the fairway. It actually makes the hole play a little bit longer than its 490 yards. Second shot is a little bit uphill. Uh, no we have to target. We should, we should be right fine side. with that. That side of the green is actually open. You don't really want to be trying to miss that green on the right. Should you decide to go at the flag? That is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. That took the 300 yard mark. Second shot. Oh, excuse me, another yawn. Right, but eight foot up. Right, um, wind's behind, but the wind's it's only two. But this is this is. This is going to be a tough shot. If I do what we're going to do, we're going to draw it in. Oh, that's probably the best hit there. Still going to cut in a little. It's going to be quite long. We misjudged that a little bit. 
shooting to hit the green is never going to stop. Now his third, staring right at the green. Right, we're not going to mess here. We're just going to do the old parachute flop shot. Wind's marginal. Bite, bite a little. Oh. Pretty good shot right it's there. It's in that zone, isn't it? So, seven foot, eight foot. Just need to keep foot. it steady oh. here over the putt. Mm -hmm. That's a level there. This is horrible. Try maybe, I don't know if there's a. Probably actually just a little bit of break. Left to right there. So we stay five under. Pretty decent round. Take away that home one that we got. Um, there's also It'd still be three under par, so you can hear the roars at the par three sixteenth. So how do you focus on the task at hand? Great question, Rich. You know, you, you realize yeah, you're about to enter the stadium part of the Not perfect at the bottom, but, but this is the last still a decent shot. We've seen Eagles here over the years. We've seen many a play hit it and roll off the two two nine nine. It's gonna be a difficult. No bunkers here to worry about just two hundred and sixty odd to the pin, probably two seventy. You might just find the green. Now the second shot here at this part five. Two, two, two. Probably actually just a bit perfect. Oh, perfect target. It's going to be. This is definitely not down there in the fairway. Oh, that's not a bad bunker. I'll take that any day. The main thing is it stayed dry, so. So getting set for a greenside bunker shot, Frank, when I think of the great bunker players in the history of the sport, I think about Gary Player, Seve Ballesteros, who you knew so oh, well. What a heavy, get down. That's 5% power, it just, let's take it by the pin, so we're not going to have an easy birdie attempt. So they would really choose the amount of sand behind the ball, whether that was an inch or two. Aim the club at that and make sure they followed through. Yeah, we've got a little bit of break here. It's hard to see how much it is. I don't think it's... Move it there. Come on, get in. Ooh. Oh, what a putt from long distance. Yeah. Of the barrel. <sighs> Six under. Three holes to go. Frank, the one moment that sort of made the 16th hole what yeah, it is, is today would have to be Tiger's Stadium Hall. 1997. At the so Scott classic. Scott, it was raining plastic Four foot ducks. down. It was also um, his reaction too, and that ushered in the, the Tiger Woods era that we became associated with, which is the fist pumping, the rewardy spectators. I mean, he was one of the few players that reached the spectator and golf. Just take a little bit off and, it, uh, and it still goes on till today. And, and I think Rory McIlroy probably is the only other player that. Oh, pilot in the nuts. That type of inside and out. Come on, be good. Get up. Still to this day, it's been a oh, baby. What golf shot. Didn't get in the hole though, but pretty much a kick in birdie here. Well, see it's a kick in birdie, but nothing is. Ooh. Not that heavy, but it's in. Seven under part. Put together a good score here. Now this hole, we could hit this if if we had our old power back last year, we could probably drive this easy, but we're, we're not in that zone. Oh, this, this is difficult actually because...
I didn't want to hit it left the target because that water is dangerously close. Could have went for the green, but it means putting full power on it. Going for extra power, which means coming back down, you might miss that bottom. And if you missed it left the target, potential could have been in the water. So, I played safe, played within ourselves. situation where before an important round, an instructor gave you one small tweak, maybe flare your left toe out, or just shift a little bit of the weight onto the back foot. The instructor gave you that one small bit of advice. Do it. Do a nice bit. Yeah. Do that course. The list is too long, actually. And it's normally just someone that you trusted over the years. And we all make just little bad habits. Sometimes you're stooped over a little bit more than normal. You're not standing tall enough. The ball is too far. Come on. Actually. Eight under. Could be birdie bites going here. It's always the little things that add up to the big problem. To the 18th hole now, and Frank, the original designers stepped in and, and they made this hole quite a bit more challenging. Yeah, they certainly have stiffened it up. Um, the longest hit is in the game. Just hit it within a zone Johnson here. We don't want to, you don't need to go big. Used to take it completely over the lake down the left Fair side. and greens. Now there's a series of bunkers, almost like the church pews at Oakmont, that are littered down the left side, stopping that attack. You're going to have to respect this hole that much more off the tee. Find the fairway. It's still a short iron end, but this finishing hole is now a proper finishing hole. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. But uphill. Wind straight on her face. I think that AI might just be a bit perfect. I've had a wee bit extra, which could be good for us, but let's see. Uh, maybe just a little bit long, but let's say put for a birthday. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. Right. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Three, three inches down, though. Oh, we've had an extra forty percent. Oh, set. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. It's been pretty good all day from this distance. Just Five trying foot. to take care of business. Oh, must have read. I'm okay. We're okay. Now, that is a, a pretty solid round that included a home one. I meant to check the scorecard there just before I putted that out, but I forgot. Frank, you surprised um, to see that name? But we were out in four, and we were back in four under. I am so, to see the name, but not that a 63. Uh, it was great performance, especially pretty Peter decent, Green. Um, even know, in the hard level. But I'll quickly. say the Phoenix Open's not. I wouldn't say it's the hardest out there. It's it's got some challenging holes, but it's not like an ultimate disaster. One of the kind of easier courses. Let's get my pen sorted there. Oh, so there we go. Let's see what kind of weed we've got. Because I think we were out early. Yeah, there's Mark Kutcher, 64. Chapel, 6 under. McElroy's 5. So we open up with a, a 64, 8 under par. And we've got a shot weed over the field. So pretty decent start for us. Let's see what the weather is for the next round. So we're going, to, we're going to be in a normal <coughs> swing setting, which I'll probably set just as I finish this, but I'll record maybe, I don't know if I'll record tomorrow, maybe Sunday morning maybe. I've got a couple of videos to upload, <coughs> so I've got stuff to go up. Um, but uh, 8 to 12, well, a little bit more difficult, so... Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I will see you for more sports videos and stuff coming up soon. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.